Greetings to you all. Welcome back. The Lord today is talking about a place of plenty. Many of you right now are in these transitional places and phases and we know that, but there's more to it than what you just see. Even the things that God has been revealing to you spiritually, there's still even more behind that that the Lord is speaking about. And so he's saying today that he's taking you to a place of plenty. But what does that mean? When God is talking about abundance and he's talking about increase and that there's more for you because we've heard that many times before, but there is a, a disconnect between us hearing that word and us actually receiving it. And part of that disconnect is that we have to understand that God always gives instructions. We've talked about that many times before, divine instructions. Pastor Jamal has mentioned that before as well, how God always will give you a word. And so right now, as you're transitioning over a lot of you into this place of plenty, and remember, plenty can be plenty of peace, plenty of joy, plenty of love, plenty of finances, all of these things, or one or two or three areas, you know, depending on what season that you're in. So that's also something um, else important to keep in mind that it depends on the season that you're in. There's times and seasons for all things. And so you want to make sure that you are lined up with the season that God says that you're in, not just the season that you want to be in, but what is the season that God says that you're in? So again, back to this place of plenty where the Lord is directing you and what it is that he's that He's telling you, I'm, I'm taking you to this place, this place that's flowing with milk and honey, this place of abundance, right? Then there's always instructions and a few examples of that. We've read these scriptures and we've heard them, but just to, to give you some examples and reminders of when even Ruth, Let's go to Ruth and Boaz. A lot of people love that story. And there were a lot of instructions that Ruth received. Some were from her mother-in-law. Some were, um, she just felt, um, so she, because she has such that connection with her mother-in-law, then she really felt an obedient, respectful heart to her. So a lot of the instruction that she got was from her. And this was like what to wear, how to present yourself, where should you even, what field should you be in? These were divine instructions from the Lord. And this brought her to her place of plenty. Now, another example of that is when Jesus says, okay, cast your net now on this side. This is a divine instruction that God was giving. And so a lot of you, he's giving you divine instructions. One that we know for sure was for the month of July. He says to spend time in his presence. Okay. And he knows why. He knows why. There's so much that there's there for you to receive, for you to glean from in the presence of God. And so when he's taking you to this place of plenty, you got to be at a place where you're able to surrender and you're able to really lean in to the voice of God more. Remember, the voice of God can show up in various ways. It doesn't have to be the way that you think even directly speaking to you. Yes, we know it can show up in scripture, but because we have the Holy Spirit in us, because of what Jesus did, then we have direct connection to God. So that voice can show up in various ways. It may be through another person. It may be through a prophetic message. It may be through a teaching. It may be through someone that you happen to just strike up a conversation with at the store. It may be while you're riding on the bus or on the subway and you see something that grabs your attention. The Lord is speaking to you and he's giving you insight and instruction for your place of plenty. So I want you in your own time to ask the Lord, God, do you have any specific instructions for me right now for my place of plenty? Wherever it is that you're taking me, some of you already know those places. God has spoken that to, your, to you in your heart. That's wonderful. So you hold on to that. That's another key thing. You've got to hold on to the word that the Lord has spoken to you. If you feel like you didn't receive a word, then ask the Lord to give you one. God, show me something. Show me a scripture. Show me a sign. Speak something in my heart that I can hold on to as you are taking me, as you are transitioning me into this new place. 
This is the last thing I want to share. A lot of times this place of plenty, not a lot of times, all the time, when you're going into this place of uh, plenty, then there's a transformation that has to take place in your heart. So a lot of you are in that place right now. There, remember, we said in June that that would be a month of gathering, not just for June, but for the rest of the year. So gathering information, gathering wisdom, gleaning from the Lord, getting more of the character of the Lord, the fruit of the Spirit at work in your life and in your heart. And so God is taking you through that transformation as he is preparing you and guiding you to that place of plenty. So I pray that you really hear this message, hear this today, bring it before the Lord, spend some time with him, have that quiet time, sit with him just in silence at first. And then you can add your worship music and say, God, here I am. I'm listening. All right, family, have a blessed day. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.